is now 65% software. And services. Over what time? 15 years. Okay. 15 years. And the transformation is going on. But I mean, to, to be honest, this is still, uh, the transformation is moving up all, all the time. This is still about 50% of the revenue of the company uh, is, is building the, the networks. But... Uh, Sorry, so 65% what then? 65% the software and services. Is what? Today. 65% of the activity then, i 65% is what if it's not revenues? No, 65% of the business. Of, of what we do, what people are working with. Of the, of the employees are working with, 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 uh, with the software and services. But 50% of the, of the earnings of the company comes from the hardware here. But we cannot stand still, uh, as I said, upgrading and working with all these, all these things. Um, transformation is everywhere. We, we need to work with power on the site. Uh, making the, the radios more intelligent, moving them closer to the antenna, or even moving them into the same antenna with the antenna integrated radio. So the radio and the antenna is mounted on top of each other. So T-Mobile in the US is changing out every single antenna they have into that for that sole reason, because it's so much better gives you so much better throughput, so much better, so much um, uh, more power efficient than, than traditional setups. That's the, uh, that one, antenna integrated radio. What exactly are you doing with that? Sorry? What exactly is T-Mobile doing with that radio? They're changing it. What they, basically, you see there is what they used to have. They used to have antennas and radios, and between them went a feeder. That's a cable. They just take away that and move into that box only you get 3 to 5 dB increase of the, of the power of the, of the site, so more or less a doubling of the capacity with the same set, with change from that setup to that setup. But if this is macro sites, these are big sites. We need to also work a lot with bringing the power as close to the users as possible, so, so macro sites will, will not be enough. Well, the first thing an operator would do if they want to in, in build a better network is to upgrade their existing macro like T-Mobile is doing. The next thing would be able to build more macros. And that perfect spot to build a macro might not be on the rooftop on the, on the building or in the middle of the in, the, in the woods or whatever, it might be in the middle of the street. So that's the reason we also teamed up with Philips to build what we call the zero site. Because a street light is the perfect spot to build a base station. It's a perfect spot to build a site in crowded areas where you have a lot of people, you have a lot of traffic going through the network. So building another macro is the second, th second phase you can go through as, a, as an operator. The third will probably go into small sites, heterogeneous networks, to build small sites to, to, to supplement your existing network. And that goes all the way indoor to the smallest, smallest of, 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 of networks. And which is over here. So let's continue a little. So you use microwave for the backboard. Microwave can be sorted out in four different ways. I mean, you can have microwave, by, by microwave backhole, you can have fiber, you can have copper, but you can also use LTE as backhole. And, uh, and if you have a site, um, an LTE advanced site today, you can set aside maybe 10% of the capacity from the, L from the macro site for transmission for the, for the small cells in this area. So you can use, you can use a variety of technologies for, for backhole. So it's a mesh? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's always the, make the best usage of what you have. I mean, in some areas, if you have fiber, use fiber. If you don't have that, use... Well, use up the ground. Yeah. And street lights probably only have power, they don't have fiber. Exactly, exactly. But it's easy to put a, a microwave antenna on the top there, especially those uh, new ones that we have that there are very small and, and very, very smart, because you don't need to have a separate modem or things like that you used to have in the old microwave because everything is built into one single, to a ball, basically. And the, the example you gave about operating 2G to LTE, I assume you still have to change the antenna? No. If you, stay, if you stay on the same frequency, you don't. What you need to change is the baseband, the, the digital unit. But, but uh, not for the radio and for the antenna. As long as you stay on the same frequency band. I'm assuming you're going from 900 to... Yeah. 
depending on, of course, if, if the operators already have it, maybe they have the, the, the antennas are 10 years old, they might not be able to handle everything. But, but uh, generically speaking, it's a software upgrade on the radio side. We see a lot of operators running on the 1800 frequency band, and there they typically have GSM, and, and now they co locate that with LT. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yep.